Hello everyone, my name is Abdulaya Al Sahil. I'm a PhD student at Purdue University. Today I would like to present our paper, Atlas, a sequence based learning approach for attack investigation. Attack investigation usually gets triggered with a threat alert that reflects a malicious event or an attack symptom. For example, threat alert can be reported by an antivirus system. The attack investigation is typically performed on the audit logs since it includes the history of system events. Many state-of-the-art works rely on parsing the audit logs to construct data provenance graphs, where system entities such as files or connections are represented as nodes, and system events such as file system reads and writes are represented as edges. Given the constructed graph starting from the threat alert event, a backward tracing analysis traverses the graph backward to identify potential attack routes. And the forward tracing analysis traverses the graph starting from the identified attack routes to identify the potential attack damages. Finally, the attack investigation result is reported as a subgraph that summarizes the attack steps. The attack investigation task has two main challenges. The first challenge is the fact that attack investigation is a needle in a haystack problem, meaning most of, most of the system events and audit logs are benign, non-attack related events and our task is to uncover the minority small number of attack-related events. The second challenge is connecting the dots to uncover the end-to-end -end attack story. Basically, we have to identify the relations between these uh, few scattered malicious events to construct a concise, meaningful attack story. As a case study and motivating example for Atlas, I'll present this attack scenario. A web user who uses Firefox downloads a malicious file. Open the malicious file in a vulnerable application, which leads to the installation of a backdoor into the system, allowing the attacker to infiltrate and laterally moves to other hosts and exfiltrate some classified files. Eventually, an antivirus or a, a, an intrusion detection system detects this malicious event and uh, reports it to the administrator, and attack investigation takes place. Many state of the art works uh, run the analysis and report the finding of the attack investigation as an attack subgraph as highlighted in the red dashed area on the slide. Our observation for the motivating example attack from previous slide is that the high level attack steps can be summarized and learned or identified as temporal sequences of attack events that we directly can extract from constructed causal graph that represents the audit logs. Additionally, the attack story can be summarized as a sequence of attack events as the upper figure shows. Similarly, the attack story also can be summarized as a concise attack subgraph, like state-of-the-art works. To achieve this, we have implemented Atlas with four main components and two operational phases that we highlight in the next slide. Here we introduce Atlas, a sequence-based learning framework which automatically conducts attack investigation and attack story recovery. To achieve this, Atlas uses the following design components, which start with sequence construction, where Atlas constructs a causal graph, extracts sequences, and uses limitization and embedding to efficiently represent sequences to the learning model. In addition to the sequence construction, Atlas has two operational phases. The first phase is the model learning phase, where Atlas learns attack and non-attack sequences and generates a learning model, which Atlas later uses in the attack investigation phase. In the attack investigation phase, Atlas uses the initial attack symptom entity from the threat alert and extract sequences from the causal graph. Atlas then perform entity inference analysis to identify the related attack entities in audit logs. Atlas then uses the identified attack entities to construct a concise attack story. In the next couple of slides, we will look at each component in detail. In the graph construction component, Atlas parses the audit logs to construct a causal graph and for Atlas to reduce the log's complexity and to extract short sequences rather than long ones, Atlas constructs a simplified graph that contains a smaller number of nodes and edges. To achieve this, Atlas employs a set of graph optimization techniques. The first technique eliminates all non-reachable nodes from the start node. Second, Atlas removes the redundant edges and keeps the edge with the oldest timestamp. Finally, Atlas combines certain nodes and edges if they refer to the same type of events. These graph optimization techniques greatly simplify the graph complexity and make the audit logs analysis easier to address. In the sequence extraction component, I would like to show a working example of the sequence extraction process. 
Sequences are simply a temporal ordered event extracted from a causal graph that represents the edit logs. Now, given a causal graph similar to, to the causal graph uh, represented on the slide, Atlas extracts a neighborhood graph for one entity or a set of entities. In the neighborhood graph, Atlas include the node entity and the neighbor nodes along with their edges. Next, Atlas extracts all the events represented as nodes and edges in the constructed neighborhood graph as an initial step to form sequences. In the last step, Atlas orders the extracted events according to their timestamp order to construct a temporal sequence of events. These extracted sequences are later used by Atlas to learn and identify attack patterns and to recover the attack story. In the sequence limitization component, Atlas uses limitization, which is often applied in natural language processing (NLP) to group different forms of a word as a single term. The benefit of using limitization is that it represents a generic form of sequence semantics, making sequences easier to be learned and identified for the, for the learning model. For instance, the process Firefox name is abstracted to become program process. The table showed on the slide represents the 30 words and audit logs that Atlas abstract using limitization. After Atlas abstracts the sequence uh, to semantic pattern sequences, Atlas passes the sequences to the learning model. Before Atlas passes the sequences to the, to the training model, the selective sequence sampling component balances the sequences to form a balanced tra training dataset. Since attack sequences are extremely fewer than non-attack sequences in the audit logs, this can lead to a, an imbalanced dataset, where the model becomes either biased to the majority non-attack sequences or unable to learn the underrepresented attack sequences. In our datasets, on average, there is only 61 attack sequences for every 21,000 non-attack sequences. Atlas implements the selective sequence sampling component, which undersamples non-attack sequences using the similarity metrics Levishtein distance to remove some of the redundant or highly similar sequences. And this is to, the, to account for the learning model bias for the non-attack majority class. And oversampling by mutating some of the attack sequences to increase the number of attack sequences to balance the dataset and to bring to the dataset new unseen attack sequences in the training datasets. After balancing the attack and non-attack sequences, Atlas passes the sequences to the sequence embedding and model learning. The sequence embedding component is where Atlas uses word embedding to represent the vocabularies as a set of numerical vectors instead of indexed words. This allows the learning model to, to learn the semantic relationship between those vocabularies and enhances the learning model. Next, Atlas passes the sequences to the LSTM training model where Atlas learn and detect those embedded sequences. The LSTM training component is where Atlas constructs and trains the neural network. The LSTM neural network architecture is widely applied and proven to be effective for sequences-based learning tasks, such as machine translation and sentimental analysis. The LSTM enables Atlas to automatically learn and model to differentiate reflected patterns in attack and non-attack sequences. After the model learning, whenever there is an attack incident and given a threat alert with an attack symptom event, Atlas extracts the sequences from a causal graph and uses the trained model to identify related attack entities. For example, as can be seen in the upper middle figure on the slide, the red nodes in the displayed causal graph are attack nodes, which represents attack entities in the audit logs. Next, Atlas uses the identified attack entities in the, in this, uh, in the attack story recovery step to extract a concise attack subgraph as shown on the left side of the slide. And this subgraph only contains attack events which are related to the identified attack entities from the attack investigation step. On the right side, you see the attack story represented in the text format with seven attack events ordered according to their timestamp in the audit logs. For Atlas evaluation, we implemented 10 attack datasets based on real-world APT attack campaigns. The table on the left side of the slide shows four single-host attack datasets and six multi-host attack datasets, along with their APT campaigns and CVE numbers. The attacks in the datasets implement different vulnerabilities and payload, but have similar high-level attack steps such as phishing emails, payload injections, information gathering. In our evaluation datasets, as shown in the table on the right side of the slide, on average there is 20,000 entities, 290,000 events, and 20,000 sequences. Atlas task is to uncover as few as 
28 attack entities, 17,000 events, and 61 attack sequences. Given a malicious symptom entity, we evaluate Atlas ability based on identifying attack entities and attack events. As shown in the presented table, we present the result based on entities to evaluate Atlas sequence based learning model ability of identifying attack entities. And we represent the result based on events to make Atlas comparable to the state of the art works, which typically get evaluated based on events. Atlas successfully identified attack entities and recovered attack events with low false positives and false negatives. In terms of entity, Atlas has entity based results of 91 precision and 97 recall. And in terms of events, Atlas has 99% for both precision and recall. In the conclusion of Atlas, Atlas is a framework for attack investigation and attack story recovery. Atlas takes unmodified system standard audit logs and runs sequence based analysis that can learn and identify high level attack steps. Atlas uses a novel combination of causal analysis, NLP, namely word embedding and word limitization, and machine learning techniques to learn and identify attack sequences. We evaluated Atlas based on 10 real-world simulated attacks, and Atlas successfully recovered their attack stories with low false positives and false negatives. This is the end of my presentation, so please feel free to contact me if you have any questions. We have released Atlas source code and the attack datasets on the GitHub repository displayed on the slide. We would like to thank our sponsors, ONR, Sandia National Labs, and Cisco Systems. Thank you for listening.